troubled mind. I left my body. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Trading addicts across the world, welcome to the weekly watch list. This is Jeff Kohler, aka Option Addict, from over at www.tradingaddicts.com. Here to offer some late night uh, perspective and uh, trade setups. Apologize, I'm getting this out so late. It's uh, holiday season. Got some family in town. You guys know how that goes. Anyways, these setups, you'll probably catch this first thing in the morning, all applicable heading into tomorrow's session, which, according to futures, prices looks to be up. And we've been buying up into this. Still plan on doing the same tomorrow. And I think we'll probably get away with a pretty decent week in terms of swing trading conditions. Now, on the day trading front, it's probably best to save your commissions. I imagine we'll probably get maybe one or two good days out of the entire week uh, with Thursday off and Friday being a half day. Uh, I would imagine we'll see some low volume action, some uh, real intraday range bound grinding type conditions that we've uh, been well accustomed to in the last several months. But for the most part, I think with, with equities opening up here a little bit, I've been focused a lot on this particular setup in stocks. And we'll, we'll go back a little bit here. Let's go over 60 days. This 1200 level, I think, was a really important layer of resistance. That's one that acted as a level of support that we're banging back up against right here. Uh, was also a potential reversal pattern here at 1200. Was also an area of declining highs. And the setup that we talked about on Friday uh, before before the weekend, the dip buying setup that we wanted to see was going to be the higher low within this channel. And we highlighted this range right through here between 1190 and 1185, which was tapped. And that was your dip buying opportunity. Still like the idea of buying into this tomorrow, but for the most part, we'll use uh, the upward momentum in stocks this week to look to take profits. Not only that, but uh, my trading addicts, you know, for those of you that are out there, I think one of the most important developments is that, you know, according to our trend indicator, uh, equities are back on, buy, on a buy signal. We'll talk about that during our live webinar tomorrow, uh, but it's important that you get a heads up that with tomorrow's open, stocks back on a buy signal. We'll talk more about that again tomorrow. But for right now, let's look at some individual setups. Let's look at a couple of uh, buy the dip setups and sell the rip setups. Take a look. How low can you go? 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 All right, guys, and I got price patterns galore. So one of the big steps that we watched on Friday was in the drillers, and I'll highlight just a couple here really quickly. Uh, ATP Oil and Gas Corporation, as well as Noble, wonderful dip by setup in Noble, down off the 200-day moving average, right off of trend support, which extends all the way back here the last couple of months. That is a dip by setup. Uh, you can even lump rig into that as well. A couple others I like that are still applicable from last week, uh, UPS, which looks like a breakout trade, good volume on Friday. It looks like it's going to break out here tomorrow morning. You can throw uh, FedEx into that. Uh, Ariba, the continuation pattern up here, the way that it's trading within the range. I think it's a good anticipatory spot to look for a breakout. Uh, FNSR, a lot of short interest in this stock. If this thing starts to heat up above 20, should see a pretty big breakout ahead of earnings. Uh, we also looked at Citrix Systems, CTXS, big continuation pattern that's developing here. I think trades up above 66. Might want to locate along. Seagate STX, a break above that 200 day. Good, good volume here as of Friday. Uh, some follow through above 15 tomorrow might be a decent swing trade for the week. MGM with the casinos heating up. I think MGM's in an okay location. Uh, but when you break this down into like a, a, a 10 day chart, I'd like to see this little bottom that's developing right through here break. So, meaning I'd buy this thing up north of, let's say, 1225, 1230. So, set an alert for that. I think that'll be a pretty decent trade. And we've had wild success with that one here in the past couple of months. <clears throat> uh, CLF. Doesn't that look hot? Look at this thing here. You buy ahead of the breakout, which will happen right up here at about 71, on up to test the 52 week highs of at about 75, 76. Perfect location, love it. Uh, as I like Century Aluminum here, same setup. CMC, which this is at a pretty decent spot for the stock. If you look, uh, it's kind of an interesting level of resistance. Some decent price action here. Yeah, I think if it trades up through 1475, I think you got to buy this thing. Should be a decent mover on the week. Financials, we've been talking about them, and I'm thinking about buying them. Uh, the three on my list so far: Zion's, uh, Huntington Bank. Same setup here. Look at these long dated rounded bottoms that I think you're in an okay dip buying position. 
This is a group that isn't really being looked at right now, in my opinion. Uh, Key Corp's the other one, down at the lower end of this range. Thinking financials are in a position here to might make a run in the next couple of weeks. We'll talk more about that as the week develops, but uh, start looking through some of your financial watch lists. I think they look okay here. Last couple here, GTE, E-Trade. You guys are all familiar with the setups that I look for, right? I like the volume here in E-Trade, too. That, that ought to break out this week. And I do have a one I'm kind of bearish on here, and that's uh, C-Trip. I probably won't trade this early on this week, but I think if this thing gets up and stays, let's say 48, 49, doesn't quite get to 50 in this next rally, I think you short that thing and look for the reversal. Anyways, guys, got another great list of setups. We continue to knock the cover off the ball. So come be a part of the Trading Addicts community, guys. You know about the five-day trial. Come out, come see me. Trade with me for just a little while. Guarantee you'll love the results. Anyway, this has been The Option Addict. That's been my watch list. Thanks for watching. Have a happy holiday and a profitable week. Thanksgiving is a special night. Jimmy Walker used to say Gobble, gobble, goo, and gobble, gobble, giggle. I wish turkey only cost a nickel. <laughs>